Here's what you need to know about critical care concepts. Let's talk about ICP. If something's taking up extra space in the brain, like a subdural hematoma or a brain mass, the body's gonna to try to compensate by reducing the other components in the skull, like blood flow or CSF. That's the monroe kelly hypothesis. Now remember, the skull is a finite amount of space and this compensation mechanism can only last for so long until the intracranial pressure increases. Elevated ICP causes serious irritation to the brain. Headaches, nausea, vomiting, photophobia are common early on. Posturing is a late sign of elevated ICP. And if that GCS continues to fall less than eight, then we will intubate. For crash intubations, we're usually gonna be using an endotracheal tube. Tracheostomy tubes are used for long-term mechanical ventilation. Now, if the patient continues to deteriorate after intubation, we're gonna to look to these reasons why they could be crashing. If that mechanical ventilator is alarming, you better not ignore it. High pressure alarms mean there's an obstruction in the system, whereas low pressure alarms indicate that oxygen is escaping out of the system somehow. If you need more help with critical care concepts, join Lauren's NCLEX review on Wednesday night.